What's up everybody, it's your boy King Customs. I know it's been a while, but I'm finally back. You gonna see my ugly mug later on in the video, but I'm just gonna get to nitty gritty. I got Makoto Shishiho, or Shishiho Makoto from Aroni Kenshin. One of the best shonen villains out there. If you love Aroni Kenshin, you're gonna love this figure. This figure is just amazing. This is Dyson model or GT Dyson model toys, whatever you want to call them. They make good shit. This figure is solid. No joints are loose and he has tail bend. That really surprised me. I honestly forgot about that. A lot of Dyson figures usually don't have that. But anyways, I'm going to show you how you can modify the height of these figures so they can fit with your other shonen or anime stuff weird comic stuff it don't matter so i checked his height he's like um five seven or five eight i put it on the screen now this is him next to yusuke yeah he's really tall so yeah it's gonna take a lot of fixing next to hiei Honestly, he don't look that bad next to Hie since I modded his height, but yeah, he still needs, nah. I'm gonna show you how to do it though. And after that, he will be good to go. I was thinking about putting some, um, like a black wash on him, but the shading on him is actually pretty damn good. And if you watch my um, short, I told you guys how to remove the hard, the crotch piece. Yeah, I don't think I could do it on this one. I know I can, but it's like, this will have to be covered up all the time. Plus when I move it, you know, it's just gonna move. So, uh, I don't know, I'll think of something. But let me get on to the video show you guys how to do this brb and i forgot to show you guys just what he looks like with two figure arts i mean he's gonna be tall regardless sh figure arts same raise on earth sh figure arts same raise on earth goku one of the og shonen goats and we have denji aka chainsaw man one of the new shonen goats yeah i said it fuck tanjiro fuck yuji fuck all the niggas it's all about that chainsaw man baby okay for first what you want to do you want to take his robe off so it'd be a lot easier to you know take all the stuff off and with the power editing his robe will be off Here's what he looks like without his robe. It definitely is a tall, lanky motherfucker, but he's really not that tall. He is tall, but Dyson overscales their figures, which is okay because we're gonna fix that. Now it's easy to pop him off. Dyson figures are well, like, um, they're friendly to customizers. It's easy to like take them apart. I do this all the time and I don't get tired of it because this is what I do. It's just so fun. See? And you just pop it back on. Like so. I wish I could take this off, but then it'll just look weird. Unless I glue it so you won't see it as much, but I don't know. Uh, there's something I could do though. There we go. Yeah, that's going apart. It's in there tight. Okay, I'm gonna beat this up. Not to hit a blow dryer. Sorry, guys. I swear I'm fucking retarded. Okay, so what you wanna do? You wanna make sure you keep. And you know, you're keeping track with the measurements. So you get an exacto knife or you can get a razor blade, doesn't really matter. Matter of fact, I might just use one of my razor blades. It's good to use a fresh razor blade, but it, it don't really matter. Use what you got. 
Now you can use a kitchen knife. Not a butter knife. You fucking dumbass. But any hoozy. I'm gonna use this. And I'm going to cut a lease right here because Makoto is 5'7", so this should be good enough. Bear with me, I did this before. You see my UU figures and you see my um, DC Multiverse figures, I did. You make sure you keep this like right. Make sure it's even, I mean. Okay, that's just good. Gonna drill a bit that looks something like this. I don't really know the names of each drill bit, but. And uh, don't worry, the arms are still gonna be good. Of course, you don't want them to have like orangutan fucking arms, but it'll still look good. Now, let's get the German one. You wanna make sure it's far, but not too far where you hit the joint. But don't worry, we're not gonna cut his legs that much. This should be good enough. If not, I'll just cut it some more. Maybe about like another inch or so. All right, my beautiful people, I am back. Now make sure you dremel this a little bit more so you see something like this. The pegs are definitely in there, but make sure you heat it up so it can go like really in there. Now I have to dremel some of the boots in because there was like a little clip on the end of the leg right here. So I have to dremel it. And the boot still comes on. Yeah, okay, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely on there. I say uh, heat it up though, so you can really get it on. I just did that because I don't want it to give them an extra height and shit. But it should be good. Just make sure you heat it up. Okay, so now I got the boots on there. They look really good. I might have to move them around a bit, but I think they're good for now. But I could just adjust them and shit. You still see the wrinkles and stuff. I only did that so I could really like fit it on the leg and stuff. It is your boyfriend. Yeah, it's fine. So now I'm going to do his arms. I'm just gonna cut it a little. Cause now it kind of looks like he has some orangutan arms and I do not like that. So you're gonna cut, you see this piece right here? Don't worry to fix that. Cut right about here. There we go. Do the same. By the way, I hope you guys' day is going well. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Now just you're gonna have to dremel a little i think i said that but yeah dremel the inside of the boots and you're good to go and heat it up cut it a little i had to cut it for a uh, hie but it still works so now we're just gonna do his arm make sure you guys don't dremel too deep into the arms because you don't want it to join and you don't want to make the rest uh, rest pack loose. If it is loose, just add some super glue to it and tighten it up. But yeah, make sure you do it evenly on both sides and you are good to go. And here we are. Shishiho Makoto is finally finished and his height is improved. 
now he's like instead of being like a six and a half or something like that he's five and a half and to me that's good enough i'm gonna show you some pictures in the video right now of his height with my dawson's and my other two figures goku and chainsaw man and now what i also did was i removed the um crotch piece so now he can get really low this is like his own dick basically and also i added a little painting tape to um his belt and uh yeah but make sure when you putting back the joints like the wrists and the ankles make sure you heat the figure out so it can go in a lot better dremel some of the gloves so they can fit better i'm going to glue the boots on and uh yeah man like i really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video i hope you all watch this video because it took me like two and a half or yeah i want to say two and a half or three hours to do this was a long process but i love doing this shit man like i love dawson figures they're really fucking good do not sleep on these figures and makoto is so fucking cold i used to play with him in jump force and j stars yeah jump force ew but i was watching some clips with him he's so cold the nigga grabbed the sword with one finger and then stabbed the motherfucker with his hand there's a lot of cold shit he does and he got a bad bitch too yumi i think i hope they do her too dyson is just so cold there might be some problems, but I can always fix it. But this figure is just amazing. I probably do like a little posing short, but yeah, man, this figure is just amazing. And the last video when you guys were wishing me, you know, what happened. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Just watch my last video. But y'all know. The RIP, my grandma and stuff. I really appreciate that. I love you guys so fucking much. And y'all know I mean that. If y'all watch the whole video, y'all a real one. It's gonna be a long one, like 12 minutes or something like that. Now, I got a lot coming. So let me cook, let a nigga cook. I have a lot coming. I'm not gonna lie, this nigga cold. I know it sounds like I'm on his dick, but hey, this nigga cold. He's cold, I'm sorry, he's just he's cold. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna take also, I'm gonna take this effect I got. I made this into a black flash for Yuji, but he got a couple of them. So I'm gonna take this and like make it like into like some fire. So you can put around his sword. Something like that. If you know, you know. But yeah, man, I'm just gonna finish editing this video. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm gonna finish editing, editing this video and I'm just gonna take a shower and go to sleep. I gotta go to the dentist and I'm probably gonna see Spider-Verse tomorrow. So hopefully that movie's good. Hopefully it's worth it. But I love you guys so much. Remember, you can always do whatever you, you want to do. Whatever you put your mind to, you can always do it. Especially modifying, customizing. Don't think you can because you can. I always told y'all niggas this, man. I love y'all. Peace out.